Hey guys, it's me, Meaner. Here we are back to Legendary Starfy. We're going to be in World 1 3 today here, and Starfy's all happy and good, like you're ready to do this. That's going to begin. Mysterious Powers. Yeah, look out, Starf. It's Big Squiddy. Hey, got you guys over here. Help. Help. Hurry up and save him before he gets the big squeeze. Oh, and we turn into a dragon, apparently. The mysterious visitor was in trouble. Starfy went to help him. But what's this? You've been transformed into some kind of monster, Starf? What's going on here? Did the strange little guy make this happen? Yes, Starfy actually has uh, certain transformations you can go at certain points. This one is called Spicy Belly. You can actually breathe fire. Yes. So that's fun. This is just a pretty much... Uh, a boss, so it can't actually hurt you, it's just gonna save the entire time. But, either way, you just keep breathing fire, and that's it. Just keep doing that, you can aim up, you can aim down, and just keep doing that over and over. Basically, it's just a little tutorial, you can also move left and right if you want to. And that little tactic craft will grab you. Very easy, it's pretty much a tutorial boss. And I got hit by it apparently because I got too close. I thought I would die, but oh well, whatever. That was my own fault. Phew! That was so scary. What just happened? You two all right? Whatever you did, be sure to me big squiddy. I would have helped. My shell got caught on some seaweed. So what's the deal, kid? Where'd you come from? How'd you get end up crashing through Puff Top Palace? Puff Top Palace? How did I get to Puff Top Palace? What's the matter? You get the memory squeezed out of you? You really don't remember. I don't remember. Whoa, 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 Starf, he's got amnesia. He doesn't remember nothing. Nada. Zilt. Zip. Huh? Oh yeah, that shiny sh crystal shard thingy. Crystal shards? Sweet, you're gonna get like a super star kind of thing that's gonna fight Zero Two again? Can't wait. This belongs to you, right? This joggy memory at all? Ring any bells? Shiny crystal shard? There's something about that I remember. Yeah, uh, Ribbon was. We actually used Ribbon. We actually, you know, shot Zero Two, killed him. It was, it was good times. Very fun, enjoyable. Remember! What's going on? Huh? Where? Oh, my head hurts. Over there, I see his ears. Well, that was convenient. Oh, it's a ship. Well, what? I mean, does the ship have lasers? Get him, you fools! Bring Bunston to me. Oh, wh what happened? Ouch, my head hurts whenever I remember something. Boy, that big squiddy must have done some squeeze job on your head. Yeah! Yeah, what is it? Is big squiddy back? Don't come near me! You stay back! What's the matter with you? I think you got hit on your noggin one too many roofs top, kid. You must be out, guys, too. You're trying to trick me by pretending you want to help. Hey, relax. She just wanted to give this back to you. Yeah, don't come near me. I have to run away. Run away. Now what? He thinks we're the bad guys? He didn't even take his crystal. Oh, all right, let's follow him. And thus our adventure begins again. Of course, you could just 
hold down the Y button to run this way back and forth. And of course, if you want to, you just go back to the map by talking to him. I just want to save because I don't want to go through that whole entire cutscene again. And now when you see a little exclamation point on this guy, that means there's a secret area in here somewhere. So watch out. You might find one somewhere you least expect. Or rather, expect completely. Because uh, you can't really hide all too much in this game without being obvious. So let's go down here. And hey look, lots of little stars for us. For everywhere. But not what we're looking for. Not what we're looking for at all. But either way, let's just make our way up here. Let's make our way around here. Wow, okay, fair enough. But yeah, there's something over here. So let's just continue over to the right. Oh, what's this, though? Hmm, where's this gonna lead us? Well, it doesn't lead us to the door you saw over there in the corner, but you did see that door. We do have to go there, but that's not where we want to go. But, at least we know where that took us. Got some more stars. Got some more little star things. Also, you notice something here. You'll notice the the actual sound getting more and more the more actual ones you get. Basically, if you, actually, you can actually combo up by hitting things very quickly and actually get a lot of points racked up that way, you actually get some more orbs that way. But uh, that only it's only good if you have large groups of things, which you'll see later. By the way, let's enter in here. Oh, it's you again. Hey, Herman, you ready for our big race? Hope you've been training crab meat. Uh, hey, Fork. No, I'm still, um, healing. Yeah, I hurt my claw training for the race. Bummer. Starfy can, can do it, please. Fork is always trying to prove he's the best at everything. Whoever reaches that flag over there first is the winner. Will you race Fork for me, Starfy? Sure, why not? Nah, he lo looks pretty fast. Ha! You're gonna race me? You don't even have fins. Fork rocks. Fork Knox? Is, is, is it similar to that? Just go for the gold. You know, because Fort Knox is gold. Either way, there are plenty of those, and it's kind of hard to lose this race, unless you're terrible. I mean, he didn't even show up on the screen at all. You're not really fast. You're, you're pretty. You're a terrible, terrible sport. You beat me? I don't believe it. You must have cheated. Or are you really that fast? No, you're just, you're just really slow, actually. You need to learn how to swim. You must know about the secret training ground, right? Fork still rocks. Area secret 2. And of course, now that little spot at the bottom is opened up. In case you thought we missed it or something, we didn't. Now, now we can leave this place for good and not have to worry about your stupid face anymore. But, we don't have anything else we need to get in here. We got the, uh, there's no treasure in here. We got the secret exit. So we can just make our way forward. Hmm. And of course, we have this guy here. He can just pretty much wheel it away up. I did the Normally I just actually do that, I don't know why it wasn't responding there properly. What the heck, how come it's not responding to- it's not like I could take any damage from him anyway. Whatever. Just go towards him, he really isn't much of a threat at all, he could easily escape his grip, no problem. But still, it's there. Now if you see that, there's treasure nearby. Woo, where's the treasure hidden? I guess we're gonna have to find out. It's not over here, or is it? Ooh, where's this taking us? Just keep going all the way over here. And all you get here are orbs. But if you go over here to the right, you can see more orbs over there on that side. But still, not where we're technically going yet, not where the treasure is. But you can just see the treasure in his eyes. He has that little sparkle in his eye, just knowing what's coming next. See, he sees all. He sees everything there is in terms of treasure. Because, you know, that's important, I guess. We have more orbs over here, so that's nice. This will be good for buying things later. I'm at 351, which can't really buy anything right now, but still. Woo, you see that chest there? But we can't grab it yet. Aw, isn't that sad. Until we do this. And then we can grab it. You got some sunglasses! Go to the sub screen to try in your sweet new shades. You know, let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let's take a look at this. Let's go to our stuff. Beachwear. Let's put in the beachwear. And hey, look, there's a little uh, Starfy there. That's the only costume we have right now. Extras, let me have his sunglasses. Let's put those on. Might as well show everything off to any extra stuff I get. Look at those cool little sunglasses he's wearing. He discovered a special beach vacation. 
The special is actually a little backdrop thing if I'm doing something weird. I, I, I was never a big fan of the whole nose bubble thing, so I'm just gonna, you know, can I, can I get rid of that? Can I, can I not have you on the beach? Can I please get rid of that? Like, turn it off? Alright, just, no, I, I don't want to, dang it. Monstar, what's Monstar here? Ah, yes, the little, if I have to ability, you can also do that on the screen, too. And, of course, I'm just going to go ahead and do uh, sunglasses. And beachwear. Because he looks super cool like that. Why not? Every time I get new costumes or whatever, I'll show those off. Because they're kind of interesting. Kind of a little fun thing to play around with. Just, but they're by no means required. I'm just going to show them all off. Why not, if I can? I don't even remember if I actually unlocked them all in my main file. Because some of them you have to pay like super bounce of orbs for. And grinding isn't really all that fun. But I'll probably show them off anyway. Why not? Do I need to save? Probably not. This game's pretty easy. Don't need to save at all. Unless the power goes out. Or something. Wait, what are I doing? I already got the treasure in here. But if you go up here, you can actually go up here and find these other orbs that I mentioned before. In case you need them. Yay! We restored our health. Because we are low in health, apparently. Thankfully, we don't need to worry about that now. So that's nice. But we can just swim past and continue on our adventure. Our adventure of greatness. And here's this evil little Squiddy again. Big Squiddy. Because that's a that's an original name. For sure. Got all those orbs. Haha. -ha. Take that. You can't stop me, jerk. What have you got on me? You got tentacles he takes like five seconds to squish me with. And I can escape within those five seconds. So really, you have like nothing. Where'd that bigger space cadet go off to now? This kid sure isn't making this easy. Sheesh, let's sniff around a bit. Hmm. There's treasure here, apparently. Woo. Where's the treasure? Where can it be? Where can it be the hidden treasure at? We'll have to wait and see. That unintentionally rhymed somehow. Woo. Hooray for an intentional rhyming, I guess. What's up here? Is this treasure? Is this ice cream? You know, it is a starfish, so I probably can make it one of the if I really wanted to. But I won't. You got the mysterious journal. Mysterious. I am terribly worried. My memory seems to be a blank state. Who are these people chasing me? When I try to remember anything, my head throbs terribly. I must remember. Did he just, uh, write that recently? Because he just recently got the memory back. So... Did he just, like... I'm gonna make a pit stop here, put this in the chest, and just write off my, uh, journal, because... Reasons, I guess. I don't know. Seems, seems plausible. Head cannons, you know, things like that. It'd be great if I could not get hit by things. That'll be super great, actually. Oh, no wonder it's going the opposite direction. That makes sense why I don't see it normally, so that's good. I already got the chest in here. What am I doing? I already got the chest. I'll kill you. Kill you as well. And there's nothing else to kill, sadly. But there is an exit and more of these. So now we can exit out the level! Hooray! You know, just from this story alone, this is probably going to be a long Let's Play. Because, uh, these are some pretty long parts if you cut in, like, all the story and everything. And that way, now we have Big Squiddy Brawl. Let's see this. Woo, boss stage. Oh-ho, it's Starfy. I am Fat Cat, and this little darling is my daughter, Kitfish. Wow, I never met a prince. Hey, what can you do, huh? I'd like a prince. Do it, do it. What are you doing here? Are you on an adventure? Is that a clan with you? Do you? Oh-ho, manners, Kitfish. Yes, Starfy. I did see a long-eared fellow run past here. What's that? Crystal shards? I think I've seen something like that around here. Big Squiddy snatched one of those up. Oh ho, a strange stone. It's hot, then cold, then hot again. I know what to do. I know. There's a wise man with a white mustache near here. You should see him. It's in Hotshot Springs, just on the other side of Glug Glug Glugloon. Yes, yes, old man Lobbery. Gotta get him to gotta go through Big Squiddy. Be careful. Ugh, that, I probably shouldn't have tried it with my voice. That just killed probably my entire voice, actually. It's not gonna be good. 
and that was probably annoying for all of you to actually listen to. Probably painful, actually, thinking about it for you guys to listen to. But regardless, just so you guys don't have to listen to that again, I'm going to save right here in case I die. But it's very unlikely. And here we have another stage. We're just running away from this guy, which really isn't that big of a deal at all. Since he's pretty, uh, pretty unthreatening. See, look at that. You can just escape out of your hand clutches without even trying. It's really, uh, not a big deal at all. Whatever. Yep, and now you're stuck there for some reason. Yep, just gonna ignore both of you guys. Ooh, there's treasure here. I bet it's up here. Wow, that was hard to find. You got a guard uniform. Go into the sussy and try it on. All right. Stuff. Guard uniform. Whoa. Great. I kind of like the beachwear better, actually. I'll just keep that on, because reasons. But at least it's on the guard uniform. So yeah, I'll just be showing off all this off every time I collect a new collectible or item. I'll just show it off. Why not? I mean, seems useful. See, look at that. Let's see how many orbs I got from just doing that. Now, if you go around here, there's really nothing over here but orbs. All you get through actually breaking all these up is orbs, and that's it. It just makes you go around in a circle like that. So that was a waste of everyone's time. Wee. You bad guys again! Stay back! Get away from me! How many times I gotta tell you, kid? We're not the bad guys! Sheesh! We can't give you back this lame crystal thingamajig you keep dropping. But if there were any bad guys around, Starfy here would hit him with his star spin. Star spin? What's that? Who's Starfy? What? This here is Starfy, and I'm his legendary, handsomely shelled best friend, Mo. We're really worried about you. Are you alright, kid? Yes, I think so. Well, if you aren't bad guys, you're certainly persistent, guys. Haha, <laughs> thanks. Persistence is our specialty. That and homemade sea urchin nachos. So what's going on? I mean, come on, let's start at the beginning. What's your name? My name? It's... It's Bunston. I don't know where I came from. My mind is totally blank. Whenever I try to remember, my head starts hurting. When I saw that shard, I remember my name. A little of my memory came back. All I know is that there was guys chasing me and I was protecting... something. So that's why you mistook us for a couple of creeps, eh? What were you protecting? What are those bad guys going after? Whatever it is, it must be something really important. <coughs> ah! You frightened me! Please stop doing that! What are you saying? Oh great, Starfy says he wants to help you find your lost memories. Sure, why not? Not like you have anything better to do, right? I'm sorry, I refuse to burden you with two of my problems. No, it's fine. I mean, now that I think about it, we well, don't really have anything better to do. Hey, when you clapper that squid, you did mat did some magic transformation, didn't you? I could transform Starfy using my monster power. Monstar power. I feel a connection between us. One puff of Monstar's fire breath, and I bet those weeds will be nothing but a burnt crisp. But I can't transform into Monstar alone. Ready to team up against Starfy? I don't have a choice, so yeah, let's do it. Plus, I get to burn stuff. And wait ever so slowly for it to actually burn. Look at those angry eyes when you run. So angry looking, so angry. Just the fire of anger, burning passion that went. But then he gets happy when he jumps, so I, I, I don't know what's happening there. But, uh, whatever. Prerog prerogatives or something. We. Yep, just gonna skip by you. Alright, let's grab you again. Burn, burn, burning things and everything and fire. Burning things so much. Burning so many things. Let's go down here. Because I believe there's a secret down here. Ooh. And by secret, I mean orbs. Which are nice to have. Because you have to buy collectibles with them. So let's see. Normal face standing. Happy face jumping. Angry face running. Hmm. Looks like you have like mixed emotions. You probably, should probably work on that, actually. Do you need to talk to somebody about it? Although, uh... 
Yeah, looks like you're super happy burning things. I mean, like, it's like an evil grin. Like, look, look at that grin. Evil grin. Hey, it's Bunston again. How, I don't know how you guys keep appearing in front of me when I'm, you know, back there. Why, that was simple as carrot cake. We made it through the weeds, no problem. The crystal brought back some memories, but what is it? What is the shard? Yes, Starfy? Why, I believe that you're right. It looks like it broke off of something. That means if we found what it broke off of, we can connect them together. Well, a shard is usually something that... A, a broken piece of something, so... Obviously, a crystal shard is going to be... I don't know... A shard of something that broke. <laughs> then perhaps the memory will come back, Starfy. I'd like to give you a gift for your help thus far. Buzzin's collection has been added to the touchscreen. Now this one's actually kind of nice. You actually have a little progress bar here. Shows you how many crystals you collect on the bottom screen. Shows what kind of powers you've unlocked. And you even see a new icon there at the top left. What is that? We'll worry about that later. In the meantime, let's just switch over to this screen again. And just jump as Starfy. Do a little, you know, baby platforming. Wee! But look how happy he looks doing that. He looks so happy. The happiness is just overwhelming, in fact. Wee! Ooh, what's over here? Nothing. There's nothing over there. Uh, I can't... Dang it, I can't jump up there. Fine. Let's go down here. Which is where we're actually wanting to go. We'll see a secret door here. And we'll also see that chest. Wee! The easiest tap while you get near him to press Y again to actually launch yourself. Not really rocket science. Either way, let's get the chest. You got a Calling All Challengers pamphlet. Come one, come all, if you dare challenge a sumo master who laughs in the face of Big Squiddy. Come see me. The legendary wrestler Fat Cat. Alright, fair enough. You're probably right out the other side or something. Sorry about that later. In fact, I'll worry about that now. Let's go down here. Oh, I somehow got hit by that. But whatever. No, fine. I just recovered all my health already. That was quick. That was simple. Can't jump up there? No, I can't yet. Fine. You die. You both could die. As you can tell, there's a secret exit here. Woo, where's that entrance? Well, not really secret exits, because you're not exiting anything. It's just like a different entrance. But where can it be? Hmm. Mysteries await. But you'll see here, around this spot, there's this little Yoshi's Island looking thing you can actually kill. And he drops a key. And that key will automatically lock in place once you pop it. You grab that. And it falls through the door automatically, so you can go inside of it. That was simple enough. Starfy, Starfy, you're super famous, right? Um, wait, what are you famous for again? I bet you're even more famous than my dad. He's like the strongest dad in the world. Huh? Huh? What do you say? Sure, I'll wrestle him. Why not? It's simple. Just push your opponent back to their flag to win. Hee <laughs> hee, good luck. This is pretty simple, actually. You just spin. Spin, turbo, spin, turbo, spin. Yeah, look at this hard. It's so difficult. Wow. Guess he was really a pushover. <laughs> you really did it. You did it. Wow, here's your prize. It's a secret place that's lots of fun. Secret three has been added to your map. And there it is, under the boss's lair. Alright. So now we can just ignore him for now and just make our way back up here again. Yay! But if you go over here, there's some more orbs for us, which is nice. It's always nice to have more orbs. Wow, I'm just running this stuff like crazy. Oh man, let me grab another one of these. There we go. All is well that ends well. See, there's really almost like no threat of dying in this game at all. But you'll see a skull and crossbones door. That's a boss door, in case you couldn't figure it out by now. 
Hey, Starfy, Starfy. Oh, hey to you too, Clammy. What's a Sheesh, Starly. Don't startle me like that. I'm just coughed up a pearl. Startled? I should be the one who's startled. Puff Top's a disaster. What have you two been up to? And you better tell the truth or I'm telling on you. It was all Starfy's idea. He's the one who... Wait a sec. How did you find us here? I'm the royal princess of Puff Top. The least I can do is find my lughead brother. Aw, uh, who's this cute little guy? This is Bunston. Starfy thought it'd be a great idea to chase after this kid. And now he's roped me into some kind of adventure to get the memory's kid back. Wow, he's a cutie. Hello there, little Bunston Pie. I am more than just a cute face. I'm a... Uh, I'm a... Uh, oh, I can't remember what I am. I'm just teasing you, silly. I just wanted to see what kind of trouble you guys were making. With Starfy gone, it'll be nice to let a little girl get a little credit for keeping the kingdom safe. Her name's Starly. Which is also the name of a Pokemon. But if you need me, just look up at Puff Tom and give me a call. I like adventures too, you know. Normally I'd insist on being Starfy's bodyguard, but I guess Clammy could handle that. When things get tough, see if you can call on Starly for help. To get help from a friend, just talk to Mo and tell him you want to talk call Starly. The two of you can team up and play together. Sounds fun, huh? That's Starly. She has no respect for me calling me Clammy. I got a name, you know. Want to play with Starly? No. Alright, Starfy. If you change your mind, just give me the word. Alright. Let's enter the darkness. It's pretty simple. You just hit the hit that. And then at the very least, you'll, he'll try to grab you like that, too. You just hit him, and then a ball of lock will come down too. You can actually just hit him too as well. Very simple. I mean, it is the first boss of the game, so it can really expect. But yeah, you can also run him and try to grab you too. Just don't hit his. But just be careful where you pop out of. And he's dead. And we have a Starfy dance! Yay! We have another crystal shard added to our little ship thing there. Wowza! They glued themselves together! We gotta hurry up and find those shards! Come on! Wow, he's actually up for it now. We're in the hottest springs. Old man Labber loves hot water. He always helps us out in a pinch. Determined to help Bunston find his lost memories, Starfy and friends set off for hottest springs in search of Old Man Labber. And thus, we unlocked Stage 2 Hotchest Springs. But, we still have some stuff to do in Glug Glug Lagoon. We have all three secret levels need to do so far. So next time in Legendary Starfield, we'll be doing the secret levels in here. And then I'll we'll moving on to World 2. See you guys then.